Hi, my name is James Johnson. I'm part of the RS Ultra team. And in this video, we're going to go over all the things that are included in the Foot Launch Tandem Bar Kit. So if you open up the box, you'll see that there is two tandem bar arms. These are the big long arms. This is the right side arm here with the buckle. This is the left. And you'll receive two solid spreader bars, complete with a, a shackle and a carabiner and the safety webbing. You get two of those. And this is the uh, front part of the tandem bar. It's the orange. And, the, and if you don't already have one, obviously you need a spare pilot or a passenger harness. The tools required to put the kit together, all you need is a 10 millimeter wrench and a 5 millimeter hex key. Now the next step, before I show you how to assemble the tandem bar kit, it's really important that you, you do a hang test using the paramotor that you're going to fly. So if this wasn't my, my own personal paramotor, I would have to adjust uh, the harness and to hang it from something high to make sure that the angle of the paramotor is absolutely perfect. This is a crucial step. Spend the extra time if you don't know um, if this is not your own personal paramotor. Here we have the, uh, the RS Ultra can cook paramotor with the swan neck arms installed. So this is ready to go. This is uh, hang tested for my weight so I know that it's going to be perfect. After you know that you've done the hang test with the paramotor that's going to be used with the tandem bar kit, it's really important that you make sure that the passenger harness is also hung test. So you have the passenger put on the harness with all the buckles complete, leg loops, belly band, and uh, for the uh, tandem bar kit, you're going to use these rectangle buckles here and make loops so that when they're ready to be uh, attached to the tandem bar kit, the carabiners would go through here. Okay, now that we know we've done the hang test for the paramotor we're going to use, we've done the hang test for the weight of the pilot or the passenger that's going to be flying with us using the tandem bar kit, we now have to assemble the tandem bar kit if you haven't already done so. So these are the two bars that we're going to start off with. What you have to do is you just hold them up and you can see that there's, there's a left and a right. So this is how they look like. Uh, if you're to hold them side by side and just a couple of things to determine which side is which this is always going to be on the right side so the buckle is on top and then on the left side there's a, the a can cook sticker pointing up these are the bolts that are going to connect the front of this, the tandem bar kit and so let's get started so you just lie them flat down on a, on a table uh, just to, and then confirm that they've, they're parallel and lined up together. You take your 5 millimeter and your 10 millimeter uh, wrench, you undo the screws at the very end. Just like that. This one might be loose enough. And this hardware comes with the kit. And then you take your front of your tandem bar kit and you make sure that the buckle here is in the proper position. You don't want to put it upside down, so if you see a rivet, uh, that's, you've got it backwards. So you want to turn it up like that and have this buckle with the rivet on the bottom. So you, you just insert the front of the tandem bar kit into the, the holes, and these holes should line up. So just get it in place here. There you have it there. So the holes are lined up. You grab your, your screws. The screw goes from the top to the bottom. Just like that. Like so we'll tighten them up together once we get uh, the other side in. This one here, again, if it, if it moves around, make sure that you see the can cook sticker pointing up and then line up the two holes. Not too far. There you go. Grab your hardware, bolt from the top. And there you go. 
Then you take your um, 10 millimeter wrench and your 5 millimeter hex key and tighten them up. Okay, now that we've got the tandem bar kit assembled, you just want to make sure that you have it assembled correctly. On the left side, you'll see a CanCook can uh, sticker pointing up. On the right side, you'll see a buckle, um, which I'll explain later how to use, on the top. And then now, the, uh, the next step is to, uh, to connect this strap to the top uh, buckle right here. Now, if you don't have this loop on your kit, then you can use a um, just a regular buckle just like this to make a loop. All you'd have to do is bend the, the webbing, put it in the buckle, through like that, and make a loop like this. If you have a version that is not sewn, all the uh, tandem bar kits now that are being sent out of the shop are, are being sewn so that you don't have to use this uh, buckle here. So, so this one is sewn, there's the loop right here. So you take the loop, make sure that the webbing is not twisted in any way, so it comes clean from the, the buckle, it's on the top, right through the, these uh, little loops here, and then to the front, and then you go up through the buckle, and then you're complete. Now that we've assembled the tandem bar kit, we have to attach the tandem bar kit to the paramotor. So what you do is you take off, take out the uh, the pins here. These are the pins that are going to hold it in place. Take these out first, like so. Keep them in your hand, and then you approach the paramotor um, with the kit. And you might need uh, some help on this one because you have to insert the tandem bar kit simultaneously on each side. So you're going to go under the swan neck arms, and they slide right into into place right into the holes on either side. So as you can see, if someone helps you out to lift up the swan arms, it slides perfectly in place. And then you, you just pin each side. Now that you've got the tandem bar in place into the uh, area on the frame there where it goes, you take the pin and you put it through both of the holes. So it's probably easier to go up from the bottom, make sure that the pin goes all the way up to the top, give it a little jiggle, and there it goes. So that's the pin all the way in through the hole and then you lock it in place. Make sure that it doesn't come out and you do this on both sides of the paramotor. Okay, so we're halfway there. We just uh, attached the tandem bar kit to the paramotor. Now we have to use and attach the spreader bars. So take one spreader bar, they go on each side and you have to identify the, the front and back of the spreader bar. If you see a, sh a shackle, this is the front uh, part of the spreader bar and this is the back. Uh, you'll notice that on the spreader bar comes a carabiner. That's where you're going to attach the paraglider risers to. And it comes complete with a safety strap. So just a reminder, you've done the hang test already with the paramotor for, your, for the pilot's weight. You open up the carabiner and the carabiner goes through the big hole on the spreader bar. Not only does the spreader go, bar go into the carabiner, so does the safety strap. So that goes into the carabiner as well. So that there's a, a double, um, double safety backup uh, system. And there you have it. So that's what it looks like. You have the spreader bar in the carabiner as well as the backup safety strap uh, and this you do on both sides. Make sure that the the safety strap webbing right here is inside this carabiner as well. So now that I've put on both uh, spreader bars on either and both left and right, um, things to keep in mind is that you want the uh, the safety webbing strap on the inside. So if you uh, if you see them how I have them here, this is what it should look like. So you have a clean spreader bar on the on the outside like so and it's flat and both sides are the same with the safety strap on the inside. So now it's time to attach the passenger harness to this, the system that we just attached to the paramotor. So you just lower these down gently, you take the passenger harness and again just, to rem just to, for a reminder you have to make sure that the passenger does a hang test with this harness before you attach it to the 
tend to mark it and the paramotor before you fly. So let's just uh, assume that we've already done that. It's ready to go for the, the passenger that's going to be flying with you. So just put the harness down on the, on the ground here. This is the loop that you've used to hang test the harness with. So we're going to use the exact same loop to attach uh, the passenger to the tandem spreader bar here. What we're going to use is the, uh, the shackle here. We're just going to undo the shackle. Now if you prefer, RS Ultra has included a, a hole for a carabiner. So if you have a triangle carabiner similar to the one used to connect um, the paraglider to the spreader bar, you can use a triangle carabiner in this hole here. But if you don't have one of these, um, it is included in the tandem bar kit is this uh, very strong shackle. So you're going to take this shackle, you're going to pull up the, uh, the harness here from the, from the bottom, and you're going to take the shackle and put it into the loop, just like this. Squeeze the webbing so that it gets uh, squished in place. And then you're going to take the safety strap, which is on the inside, and you're going to put that in as well. So it's a tight fit, but it all fits in place just like, like so. Squeeze it with your hands. Make sure that you haven't changed the position of the spreader bar. Hold it in place. This is where another person could help you out, but I think I should be able to do it here. You take the pin and make sure that the pin is on the outside, and then you put the pin in through the shackle. There you go. Just hold it in place. Perfect. Make sure that when you do up the pin, you feel for that, you feel the, uh, the lock at the end when you do it up. So you can feel it going through the threads there. And it goes through the outermost, uh, the farthest hole on the spreader bar. Almost. There you have it. So just to make sure you've done it right, you want the shackle to go through the passenger harness loop and to include the safety strap on the spreader bar inside the same shackle. You do the same for both sides. Now that we've connected the passenger harness to the spreader bars, making sure that both the harness and the safety strap on the spreader bar is in the small shackle on both sides, We've got one more step before we actually uh, do a hang test with the passenger and pilot. And this is the last step. So you take this strap here. This strap comes off the, the tandem bar itself, um, making sure that the buckle's on top. You've got enough tail here to, to adjust. And then there's no twists or knots in this strap. There is going to be a loop on the end of the webbing. And this loop goes through the belly band or the waist strap. So if you look at the harness here, uh, this is the, where the strap is. So there's the, the shoulders that come down and this is the, uh, the big strap um, which is connected with the, uh, the T, T buckle here. So this is what it looks like if you haven't seen this harness before. So this is the strap that we're going to connect that loop through. So here's the Strap here, take the loop, and you put this loop right into place.